Hi there, this is Paul Landis with EAM Paradigm. I wanted to, for those of you that may be newer to the system, I wanted to introduce a, a simple application of a user-defined screen. Um, within EAM, we do have the ability to create new screens, new tabs that are attached to existing screens within the system, new grids that are attached to an existing screen within the system. So if we wanted to add tabs to the work order screen, that aren't to support something that that our business requirements dictate that we have it's very easy to do so anymore if we needed to create a new screen that doesn't exist to support something we can do that also generally very reasonably as well and i just thought i'd walk through a simple example of a user-defined screen that i've created that will allow us to resend email notifications that are generated from within eam so i'm on the email viewer screen now and you can see that all of my emails that I've been testing with myself have already been sent. But if I find that I have, you know, either the email recipient is not missing because the value wasn't provided and in input as parameter, the email, the outbound email will fail. You'll get a failure message and you'll get a note indicator that the email has actually failed or erred. Um, if you select the record, you would see the actual error message down below. Um, in this case, it went, went successfully, but let's just say, for example, I needed to resend this email to myself and I needed to also include somebody else in addition to. Um, so what I've done is I've created a new user-defined screen. It's just a standalone screen called Resend Email Notification, and I've combined this screen with a couple different flex business rules. And if I go back out to my list view here. I'm just going to pick on the first record in the list here. So if I need to resend this email, I can just simply check that and say, hey, I want to resend this and save the record. And as soon as I do so, the system will reset the email notification using a flex rule um, kind of to the where it was as a starting point, And it will attempt to resend this email. If I needed to include somebody else into this email thread, I can do that as well, not based on the way I just typed by adding a semicolon here. And let's say I want to include this to Mr. Brian Talon at EA and Paradigm. Save the record. And notice that this email record here is consistent with the email records that we have within um, the email viewer itself. So this particular record that I'm picking on is 9861745. As soon as I click Save, uh, the flex rule has gone out and reset this record to indicate that, hey, this needs to now be resent to both Paul Landis and to Brian Talon. And it resets the, you know, resets the flags in the background in the database to indicate that this email has not yet been sent. And once the job runs within the next 60 seconds, then we'll see that this email has been resent. And this time it's been resent to both Paul Landis and Brian Talon. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of give you a quick overview of just an example of what we can do with user-defined screens, user-defined screen tabs. Um, please let us know if we can be of any assistance. Thank you very much.